The world is fighting a killer virus, and not for the first time. The disease, which is almost always fatal, leads to a complete breakdown of the body's own natural defenses. There are striking parallels between COVID-19 and another deadly pandemic, one that emerged 40 years ago, HIV. Both have caused millions of deaths. And in both cases, scientific breakthroughs have meant that for many, life could begin again. But not for all. This is a story about how corporate greed and political failure have prolonged both pandemics and what we can do to stop it. The inequitable distribution of vaccines is not just a moral outrage. It's also economically and epidemiologically self-defeating. Then it was access to the first antiretroviral drugs. Now it's COVID-19 vaccines. And once again, Pharmaceutical companies are making vast profits in the rich world of life-saving medical advances, while the poor are being left behind. It is an indictment on humanity that more than 82% of the world's vaccine doses have been acquired by wealthy countries, while less than 1% has gone to low-income countries. In the early 2000s, a wave of activism helped break drug company monopolies, giving millions of people access to generic medicines at a fraction of the price. We are again fighting for change. Many more will die if we don't succeed. Millions are being left behind, not because the science isn't there, but because we make choices Many of these vaccines were publicly funded. They are your vaccines. You paid for them. This is a critical moment when leaders are either on the right or wrong side of history. And while some of them are listening, not much is being done. What we need to do is lead an entirely new effort, an effort that involves working with the pharmaceutical companies and others to vastly increase supply. By ending vaccine monopolies and sharing technology, companies in the developing world can start producing COVID vaccines too. It's estimated that in Africa alone, up to 12 million people died needlessly in the time it took to make HIV treatment globally available. Break the monopolies. Share the know-how. Deliver a people's vaccine. <laughs>